Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Go. In today's episode, we are here at Saratoga Springs uh, Resort, um, right across from Disney Springs. We're doing a little bit of resort hopping today, um, but we got a whole bunch of news, which is going to be coming in three videos. One for the whole Adventures Abound thing, one for the specific breakdowns of the two new events coming from September 5th to the 10th and 10th to the 15th involving a lot of these Paldean Pokemon and another one strictly for PvP for all you battlers out there. So this is the one coming to you with the Adventures of Abound. September 1st to December 1st. Now a ton is coming this season from uh, Adventures with Pokemon. So there is going to be a, uh, some videos in here that I can't show because got it right. Um, but basically, Paul Day and Pokemon are here in Pokemon Go. Very much like last year, how they brought in like a whole bunch of Galar Pokemon with Hoopa. Um, this year, they're doing like a whole bunch of Paul Day and Pokemon. Uh, there is also going to be Shadow Zapdos, my team bird. I also have the Hundo Shadow Zapdos already. Um, but I do need some XLs, so I might be doing some of these raids. That'd be dope. And a Shadow Shiny Legendary. Still looking for my first one. Uh, of course, there's more stuff with uh, routes right now, but there is currently a bug going around with um, version 268 with routes that basically makes doing routes almost undoable. Um, <clears throat> if you do happen to get the glitch, you have to like completely shut down your game and restart. Um, so showcases, more showcases are going to be coming, and um, they're also going to be showing what showcases are going to be happening, which is nice in inside the season. Uh, seasonal highlights. Of course, we have. Uh, there's going to be uh, choose like your Paldean starter Pokemon, so they'll be giving you one with research IVs, um, just one of them between Fake Coco, uh, Sprigatito, and Quaxley. Of course, I'm going with Sprigatito. Um, just be one. How can you not love saying Sprigatito? Um, but also, I have two little kittens at home. It is such a cute Pokemon. I started with Sprigatito in, in my um, version of Scarlet. Um, there is also going to be timed investigation for another Master Ball. So we don't know yet if uh, we can actually have two Master Balls in our inventory at the same time. So you may have to use your first Master Ball before you can get your second one. Um, however, we do get a free research. If you do not complete your free research by the uh, designated time, um, you can pay for research. I think it's like five bucks, question mark. I know it says somewhere in this where you can, like, how much money it is, but you can, like, actually, like, buy the research for a Master Ball. Um, there is also going to be Community Classic for Charmander. We've had two different Charmander re um, Classics, uh, two different Charmander Community Days before. One just because Charmander, and then the second one for, like, the pre-hype of Mega Evolution. So, very cool. Um, a lot of people love Shining Charizard. Of course, I also love Shining Charizard, um, but a lot of people are also done with it. I'm actually working that day, so I will not be attending, but hopefully the Go Plus Plus can catch us some Shinies. And then there's a bunch of question marks, but if we actually look inside some of this stuff, we can't actually see what one of the community days is going to be, which is crazy. So right here, actually, is a nice little like sneak peek into not only future events but future raid Pokemon as well as uh, well we'll see here in a second future uh, community day and showcase Pokemon so right here uh, so for Friday the first which is when it starts we'll be getting Mega Manetric as well as Kartana and Celesteela after about a week they will be switching uh, sides um, September 5th the Paldean Adventure begins spotlight for Rupert showcase for um, Lechonk very cool and then uh, we'll break down these Paldean adventures uh, at a later in a later video. Uh, but yeah, then we get the 10th to 15th Ultra Unlock Paldea, which is going to be very cool with some different um, featured uh, showcase Pokemon like Nimble uh, in the raids. Again, you can kind of scroll down and see. Not bad, not bad. And then of course on the 15th, there's actually going to be a showcase for Pommy. And then if we scroll through, right, like they haven't announced any of this stuff yet. 
However, we can see that there's going to be a Psychic Spectacular, which is always really cool. Um, it's going to be bringing back Genesect, but this time Shiny uh, eligible with the Burn Drive. Very cool. And Mega Gardevoir coming back to raids. And then the 23rd is going to be our next community day, which they haven't officially announced yet. However, if we look at this 2 to 5, which of course is going to be community day, the showcase is going to be Grubbin, comma, Vikavolt. So that means we're going to be getting Grubbin Community Day, like 95% sure that we're getting Grubbin Community Day. Grubbin is such a fantastic shiny. Vikavolt could actually be kind of interesting in PvP. Right now, Chargebug is actually the best one in Pokemon Go, the middle form. And these shinies are fantastic, fantastic shinies. It'd be new shinies, which is always great. And it's an Alolan Pokemon that we haven't had before, which is very, or well, and alone Pokemon that we haven't been excited about before. And then furthermore, we're actually going to be getting Raikou, NK, and Suicune in raids from September 23rd to October 6th. The legendary beasts haven't returned to raids in such a very long time. We had like a day of them during like one of our like go fests like last year, I think. We had like a day where every single legendary was in the raids. But since then, it's been a long time. So we can finally XL grind for the Legendary Beast. It's going to be very cool. Um, furthermore, we're going to be getting an out-to-play event, which seems like it might be dog-themed. What with, like, the Beast and Raids, and then also uh, we're going to be getting showcases for Growlithe and Hisuian Growlithe. Um, maybe we'll get Hisuian Growlithe shiny in the game, possible. possible. Um, but very cool. Hopefully like a dog themed event. event. That'd be very cool. And Azuril Hatch Day, September 30th. So increased chance of getting that shiny Azuril. And we don't know anything yet about anything else um, for like October or whatnot. Um, there will also be, of course, City Safaris as well as some Go Battle League stuff. Uh, seasonal rotations in the research. Uh, it's the same kind of blue stuff. Uh, Lavatar, Bagon, Sableye, Gumi, Furfru, and Galarian Farfetch'd. Of course, this time, everything can be shiny at least, which is nice, but like, come on now. Different Pokemon appearing in the wild. Some very cool things in here. Um, Gengar being possible shiny, Scraggy and the Dene being possible shinies in the, in the cities. Um, Forest, not bad, like Orangaroo. Uh, mountains, mountains are dope. Agron spawning in the wild, Darmaka shiny, like that's that's cool. Beaches and water, Gumi and Dewpider, very, very cool. Northern Hemisphere, we're getting Tyrant and Amora spawning in the wild. Um, and then the Johto starters, and yeah. And <laughs> the Inovan starters are going to be in the Southern Hemisphere. Well, I went to. Mm. The Unova starters are going to be appearing as well as Tortuga, Archon, Deerling, and Dino. Um, so, like, not crazy, like, nothing, like, crazy, but there's some cool stuff. Of course, being in the Northern Hemisphere, like, being able to, like, shiny hunt for Amora and Tyrant in the wild is going to be very cool. Two kilometer eggs. Interesting. After the Paldean event, Lechonk, uh, going to be into two km eggs. Um, in the five km eggs, the Paldean starters will be in there after the Paldean event. Um, Lickitung and Gligar, I guess, are cool. 7 km eggs, Hisui and Pokemon, and more. What's well, going to be the and more? Don't know yet. 10 km eggs, carving, cool. Fridgebax after the Paldean event, and then Gumi and Jangmo, Larvesta. And 5 km eggs for Adventure Sync, nothing too spicy. Munchlax, shiny possibility. Uh, 10 km eggs, again, nothing like crazy, crazy there. Seasonal bonuses, extra gifts, lots of gift giving. Increased damage when participating in raids with a friend, as well as increased XP from going up in friendship levels. So that's very cool, very uh, easy way to, as long as like everyone's coordinating and like discussing and whatnot, an easy way for everyone to get XP and even more XP. And that is everything going on in this next Adventures Abound season. If you had any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Um, we will be breaking down the Paldean events in the next episode, as well as a lot of the Go Battle League stuff for all you battlers out there in the video after that. 
Uh, if you did like this episode, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button if you're enjoying the series. Please subscribe, and as always, God bless, and see you for another episode of Pokemon Go.